Hey guys, it's Soka the Geek here. And for today's review, today's review, we're going to take a look at the entire wave of McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse Last Night on Earth uh, Batman wave. First of all, thank you to the fine folks at McFarlane Toys uh, for sending me these figures for review. So I'm going to do this review a little bit differently than I usually do my reviews. I'm just going to talk about all the figures at once. I'm just going to show my ugly face here and go through the figures, play with them a little bit, talk about them, make it a little bit more, make this a little bit more uh, relaxed and casual review. Um, if you do want to see a lot more images of these figures though, definitely head on over to Ahsoka the Geek on Instagram. I have a ton of images of these figures um, on my Instagram page, so go check those out there. And I've done some uh, live uh, video Q&As as well on my Instagram page. Um, so yeah, let, let's talk about Let's get into it. So first of all, let's go right to the jugular. Let's talk about Bane. So here is the Build-A-Bane, as I like to call him. Kind of like a Build-A-Bear, but it's a Build-A-Bane figure. And this is the Build-A-Figure that you get once you put all the figures together. Now, right off the bat, there's been some controversy, guys. There's been some controversy with this figure. The controversy being that the legs fall off and that it doesn't stay together. Well, as you can see, it does. It does. Now, full disclosure, I was having problems putting Bane together. Um, what I had to do, I had to boil the figure to loosen the plastic. Then I connected it, let it dry for like 20 minutes, and now he's fine. He moves around really well, um, and, you know, he can move his legs around, his arms, everything. He's fine. He's still a little tough to move at the knees, though. Um, but other than that, he stays together. So... Um, yeah, he's fine. Now, obviously, guys, I'm not trying to make excuses to for McFarlane Toys. You know, this should have stayed together on its own. I 100% know they're not happy with this, that people aren't happy with Bane and, and the issues they're having. So, you know, they they definitely feel your pain. Um, but I just kind of want to point it out that if you boil it, you put it together, it's fine. Again, I know that you shouldn't have to do that. But life's not perfect. Things happen. Um, and I think it's a it's a fine solution. If after you try that it still doesn't work, or heck, you don't even want to try that, contact McFarland Toys. Their uh, customer service team is excellent, from what I've seen. Um, you know, they respond to people. I think they're trying to work on a solution to get replacement parts out, hopefully, for this. But for me, boiling it was fine. It solved the issue, and he's good to go. So. And, you know, I hope it doesn't take away from the enjoyment of this figure. He's a really beautiful figure, really well sculpted. I love this figure. And, you know, it, it sucks that there's that, you know, issue with the staying together. But, again, as you can see with mine and other collectors, a little hot water, maybe even a little hair dryer to loosen up the joints works wonders. And, as you can see, he is awesome. So, there he is. Um, so now that's out of the way, let's talk about Bane a little bit more. So here he is. Now he is based on his appearance in the uh, the Last Night on Earth, which I happen to have handy there. So all of these figures are are based upon their appearance in this comic book. And in this comic book, he is a hulking, almost just a transport device for the Scarecrow. So that's where this appearance comes from. Uh, so yeah, this is very comic book accurate appearance. Now, I know a lot of you are saying like, hey man, that doesn't look like Bane. Why is he black and white? Blah, blah, blah. Um, he is a very specific interpretation of Bane, of Bane based on Greg Capullo's um, artwork. So in that regard, he is very accurate to the comic book. So, um, hey, if you don't like this design, you're totally within your rights uh, not to like everything. So, um, you know, that's totally up to you if you don't. But I love it. I love this design. He he's great. Now, you can't really talk about this Bane without talking about the Scarecrow. So here is the Scarecrow. Um, this is such a cool design, again, based on the Last Night on Earth comic book. And it's such a sweet Scarecrow figure. So let's take him off. So first of all, he comes with a flight stand. I love these flight stands uh, from McFarland Toys. Now, I'm not going to talk about knee articulation with Scarecrow, but uh, duh, because he has no knees. But the rest of the figure, you have a ton of articulation. In the elbows, the wrists, each one of his little claws move. Um, you can take off his mask. You can take off his, his mask and see his creepy, ugly face, which is awesome. You can even take off the back piece. So you can do a lot with this figure. The other cool thing is the detailing of the, the body is fantastic. I love the way it's detailed. And it even comes with a little peg 
which you can pull out as I just did there and then you can attach him to Bane like so. So we attach Bane, he goes right there and now he is attached just like in the comic book. Uh, Scarecrow rides him like a chariot so they look really awesome together um, and again ripped right from the comic books. I'm all about comic book accurate action figure so I, I love this I love it so there's Bane and Scarecrow um, here is the trading card for good measure there we go the back of it that's the trading card for, for Scarecrow alright let's talk about some of the other figures shall we so then we have the last night on earth uh, Wonder Woman this mohawk we wielding wearing um, bear midriff Amazonian Wonder Woman. I love this figure. Totally reminds me of Zack Snyder's Amazons, or I guess Patty J Jenkins Amazons from the Wonder Woman movie. She looks fantastic. Uh, looks great. Minor complaint with this, the sword is pretty flimsy. Uh, the plastic is super soft, but it looks great though. Just uh, don't let Bane sit on it for too long. Um, other than that, uh, it's a great figure. Articulation is awesome with this. You have your standard Ar McFarlane articulation to toe um, double jointed knees, double jointed elbows, and uh, you know she moves great at the at, at the waist. So you can make some really cool sort of flying poses with with one woman. And again, love love the mohawk. The mohawk is so awesome. Uh, so yeah, I love this version of Wonder Woman. Let's put her sword in the holster. The sword fits quite nicely. So there she is. And where is her trading card? There is her trading card right there. All right. Next up, we have the Omega Batman. This figure is so cool. It reminds me of a, like, um, almost like a Batman Beyondish figure, just because of the way you can pose him. He's so sleek. Like, even right there, he's just, like, so freaking sleek. I'm trying to get the tracking. There we go. Um, so, yeah, he's awesome. Uh, I say awesome a lot. You probably do a drinking game with the amount of times I say awesome. But you can really move him around. He's got the same articulation as the other fi figures, but since he has very minimal armor or no armor at all, you really get to take advantage of the articulation with this figure. I love the little mini cape in the back. So yeah, love this, love this figure. It's a great figure, and I, again, it's one of my favorites just because you can um, really make some cool sort of dynamic poses with it. So he is a, a lot of a lot of fun. So there is the Omega. And then finally, we have Batman from this wave. And this is the straight jacket version of Batman. And once again, I know I, I sound like a broken record here. I love the design of these figures. Very comic book accurate. I love how the straps in the back of the costume uh, are meant to resemble a cape. So I love the way that works. Um, you know, the gauntlets, you know, are using the, the you know, a straight jacket as the, the template, but it's all molded to look like, you know, a back costume made out of a straight jacket. Even his mask, if you can see, see the details there, they look awesome. So, and then of course, the best accessory out of this whole bunch is the Joker, you know, in his little, uh, <laughs> glass lantern there, whatever that is. So, yeah. Um, articulation on this figure, you got your standard articulation, but again, you have a good range of motion on him uh, since he is not encumbered with any sort of um, accoutrements, attachments, armor piece, pieces, uh, really. So he's, he's got a great range of mo motion there. So there he goes. Um, all right. So guys, oh, and one last thing. That, there is his uh, training card. I'll get it to zoom in. Hopefully that worked. Anyways, so there you go. Um, I think my favorite figure out of the bunch is, is a tough one. I definitely, I probably have to go with Omega. Um, and then, yeah. Oof. They're all awesome though, but, you know, look at this Bane. He looks amazing too. So I love, this whole series was awesome. Yeah, I love, I'm a big, yeah, again, I say awesome a lot. I'm a big fan of this comic book. You should definitely get this comic book that this is based on. It's a quick read. I mean, you could probably get it for like 15 bucks, I would imagine. It's like Scott Snyder's last uh, quotation uh, Batman, Batman story that he did with Greg Capullo. So I recommend it. It's on the DC's Black Label line. Um, and it's a great book. So these figures are hitting uh, Target stores now. 
I think the pre-order should be going out too. I've seen a lot of people finding these, so hopefully you won't have too much trouble finding these figures. But um, yeah, once again, McFarland Toys has done an awesome job. Love these figures, and I hope you do as well. Uh, thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.